Imagine a beautiful stone house nestled in central Portugal, a rarity these days. It sits in a stunning valley, perfect for small-scale agriculture, thanks to a stream that enriches the soil with centuries of silt deposit. But there's more to this idyllic home and its surroundings than meets the eye. If the lush flora and diverse fauna don't already have you dreaming of living here, stay tuned to discover what makes this location truly special. I've captured shots from every angle of this beautiful stone house, including the approaches from both directions. Though it appears remote, you'll be pleased to know that neighbours are within walking distance in both directions. You'll soon see the charming little stream, perfect for dipping your toes in on a hot day. But the real surprise is just a few minutes away by car, or about nine minutes by bicycle, and it's definitely worth checking out. Stay tuned. As you continue watching, you'll notice the little stream passing the house starts to widen as more tributaries feed into it. Soon enough, it opens up into a fabulous lake, perfect for a variety of water sports like fishing, canoeing and water skiing. This lake is famous enough to host international wakeboarding competitions. Although the house is far enough to enjoy peace and quiet, it's close enough to easily partake in these activities. The 25-kilometre stretch of the lake offers endless picnic and sunbathing spots. There are several marinas where you can moor a boat or places to launch one daily. These lakes are one of Portugal's best-kept secrets, offering a paradise for water enthusiasts and nature lovers alike. Hello, good afternoon. So, you have already seen some footage from the air with Paul and you've seen the beautiful countryside that we're in and the river that we're very close to, which is the rivers is there. Uh, we have also, we'll show you afterwards, I mean I can just glimpse the A13 from here, you're never ever going to hear it, but it just lets you know how close you are from being in this lovely countryside to actually hopping on a toll road and going straight down to the airport. We've also got a lovely restaurant, 10 minutes. Oh, away. less than 10 minutes. And we have, so this is a top road. And what we're doing, I'm doing my little bit from the air at the moment because we're above the property. So I wanted to show you the, the roof and you can see the extent of the property. Now that roof was new approximately 10 years ago. Less, I think. You might have to squabble about that. I can't quite remember. <laughs> Um, but this, oh, yeah, that, that's, that's the road that the property sits on and the main road through this area. And even though it leads to the river, it, it doesn't get busy ever, which is amazing. This top road is just a loop, so no one ever comes up here really. So the point being, although you can't actually see it because it needs cleaning, this is already terraced and yeah. what you can do is very easily get a excavator in and terrace it further and give yourself parking up the top here if you wanted to so that yeah. you come to the back of the property instead of coming to the front. You it also owns some of the land over here, doesn't there it? Some of the land on this side is also, oh, I had the map in my hand. We'll show you afterwards. Yeah. It's also included. Now, this looks just like a hill, but I think, well, again, you can terrace it. You could do, make, you can make something out of it. It's, um, well, it's rocky, but it's not sandy. So, I mean, it's, it's, you, could, you could actually terrace this and put it into vegetable patch. I mean, clearly things sure. grow up here. So the land, land boundary, actually, I can tell you, is about here. Because, hmm. oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> she says very uncertain. Yeah. <laughs> so he comes up in a straight line from the little courtyard that's outside the kitchen door. Right. And then it sort of horseshoes back down Okay. to the other side of the property over there, which is actually where... So it goes up there. Up there. Horseshoes around. Horseshoes around. And it goes... Well, yeah, let's call it a U. Yeah, you can kind of see where the other trees are don't, that don't belong. Yeah. I think exactly. that kind of denotes the boundary, doesn't it? And it comes down because the, the stream on this side, oh, I suppose in theory we should be able to find it, but we haven't looked. Probably where I've parked the car. 
comes down and feeds the start of the desire here, yeah. it links in. But it's one of the tributaries. Actually, on your land. Yeah. So, I think it's pretty much where I've parked the car. Obviously, it goes under the road. Yeah. So, I'm not actually going to find it anyway. I can but, hear it, actually. You can? Yeah. Okay. I, I, yeah, I'm deaf. I can't. Um, I'm not going over there. So, we're just showing you this bit from up here. And then we'll go back down. Um, it's, it, I know a car's just gone past, but it is beautifully quiet. Isn't no, it? it's amazingly quiet. And you've got so many. And um, on the other side of the road, which we'll get to in a minute, there's another little brook, and that runs all the year round, doesn't it? Yes, down there. Yeah. It feeds in. Yeah, and it's a little tributary of the of the river there. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. should we should we should we cut down and should we? Go down to the... Open the front door. Open the front door, have a look. From the bottom, this is where Sarah was trying to show from the top that the brook kind of runs down. Is it on the boundary or inside the boundary? No, it's in, it's, the boundary is about here. Right, so the brook runs right, right the way down through the land, doesn't it? Yeah, it cuts across, so it's on a, a diagonal. You just get a corner of it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there was an idea that you could make a sort of swimming pool out of it but it's not guaranteed that it's going to run all summer because if we get a very hot summer it'll dry up yeah there on the other side however this side doesn't dry no. up it goes under the road here and you can see it there yeah you can see the water i think it even probably like moving, but it i mean i can see it very easily whether Good. the camera's picking it up i'm not entirely sure but that does run Yep. All year round. And it's a shame it's not kept cleaner, really. Hmm. What about possibly spanning round back to me and just showing that this area here could, if you wanted to, be, be flattened again as the driveway has oh, been. Oh, yeah, you can add more, um, more add, parking. Add more parking if yeah. you wanted to here quite easily. Yeah, for sure. And we'll show you afterwards, but the top terrace, say where that little olive is, it just looks like a hill from here, but we'll show you that the terraces are actually quite wide. We'll just go up to yeah. the top one from the other side of the property. Yeah, it's quite flat, isn't it? They're quite, they're quite flat and they're quite wide. They're usable, yeah. you know, just need clearing. And this side here is also usable because your boundary goes to the stream. And if you see where the larger tree is here, once you get there, you realise it, it goes down quite deep. Yeah, you can get down there reasonably easily when, when it's uh, been with a bit of clearance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, I've been down there and yeah, bathed my feet in the water. Right, okay. So, but the point, I mean, this bit area, you've got th three to four metres here yeah. on this. So right now, this is in lovely shade. Which would be great on a hot day. You could sit here. Depending, this depends on what you want to do with the house. If you want to turn it into two rentals, independent, then this would be a nice space to have with the downstairs. But it could easily be a family home. It could oh, be a family home or yeah. a, a, a rental, but all in one. We just put stairs inside. Yeah. Paul and I are squabbling about it. We are squabbling you. about it, uh, which I know is not like us. Um, this is for the bomberos, isn't it? It is, yeah. Uh, it's a fire hydrant in case of fire, yeah. Obviously, not, not in case of wind, <laughs> um, in case they fancy a little drink on the way around, yeah, absolutely. No, um, so that's incredibly handy. I mean, at the end of the day, you're in central Portugal, although you're by a river, there are eucalyptus around, we are in a forest, but you're in about the safest place you could be because that's where the bomberos would stop and fill up with water. Yeah, and you're three kilometres from where the... Um... Yeah, they drop, they, they, they drop yeah. into the river. Anyway, let's not talk about the fire, because that freaks people out. Yeah. So, you couldn't, you couldn't... your boundary goes it's up safer, here. Really. So when I was stood at the top, I was nearly at the edge of the eucalyptus there. Yeah. So that follows up there, and there's a nice little terrace, and we can go up the stairs onto the top, the top terrace there, just to show you that they are wider than they look. Yeah. I think we should go up into the main house and through the main house first. Uh, I think so. With the camera, just staying up. Yeah, I know you don't like the camera in your face, do you? 
No, I was staring at a blank wall. Um, oh, yeah, obviously, you've got mains water. Drainage has been put in, so there's no water issues. And at the back of the property, um, there is a gap, so it's been dug out and the walls have been tanked. Yeah, it's all been tanked properly. It's all been tanked properly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's an issue in Portugal is that a lot of the old houses, the underneath, like here, were, were dug in to the earth. Yeah, but it didn't matter because they were used... I hope I haven't locked us out. Hmm? No. They were okay. used as a dagger's. And of course, water running through them was a bonus. And then, of course, it no longer became a bonus. Right. And it became a complete nuisance. So, oh, I still don't see Paul in here. So, we have, let's go through to the main, main property. Because we've got this nice big open space here, which makes for a lovely big lounge area. And there's plenty of light. We've got the heights, the wooden beams. So this was renovated. Oh, again, we can't quite remember between eight and ten years ago. Oh, um, so they've done a lot of work. They've done basically it's all the finishing work, new electrics. They've kept the stone. But they've also plastered. They've kept the little seats. They've got double glazing on the way. Sarah. I'm actually going to show the rooms as we go through. I haven't been manned with the feather duster, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, it's, uh, it's unusual you going past the feather oh, It is, yeah, I can't get that. Making full use of it. So what we have got is designed to have two bedrooms, because you can see from the plugs there. So, and it's got a classic... Um, I've visited an office, I would have said more. I mean, it could be a kid's bedroom, of course. Well, you've got you've got your two plugs there for your double bed, haven't you? Yeah. So you've got, it's up to you. This could easily be two double bedrooms, but they are the size where you get your double bed and your side tables in. And you'd probably put a wardrobe here and the same on the other one. Yeah. Okay. Then you've got a brand new kitchen area here, which has never been used. Yeah. Um, or very, very briefly. Okay, so there's space for your cooker to go in there. I mean, this is a nice kitchen area, isn't it? It's a nice kitchen, yes, really yeah. nice. Uh, and the bathroom to the left of me here is also very nice. Obviously, this just needs painting. This has been tiled and painted. Now, the property was a bit of a, a dream for the owners, but maybe a little bit like us. They can't quite decide on it. So, well, I think he loved it. And one, one's one, and it's now for sale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but it, it is. I love this valley. I've always loved this valley. And I 100%. In fact, we own the house, but we also own the house in this valley ourselves, didn't we? But so, there we go. Yeah. So, out here, they've got a little terrace area. So, you can sit, you can put tables and chairs here, and a nice umbrella. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. So okay, can, sorry about that. that. Um, here we go, we're back out with Sarah. Yeah, I mean, is it? Yeah, you're right, of course. I know. As usual. Um, there's a couple of, you can have a brolly and chairs out here, it'd be really nice. A lovely view. You could use it for. Well, you could do anything you want with it. Okay. And the views are just lovely, aren't they? You could. You could do naked, naked sunbathing behind the you wall. Could no, you could actually do naked could. sunbathing behind the wall. There we go. That's it, Sus. Yep. Yeah. Next week's video will actually be, no. Sarah, naked sunbathing behind this wall. Do tune in. Sunday mornings. <laughs> that off. Right. I'm probably not allowed to say that either. Um, so, if we clamber through this slightly overgrown passageway. Ow. Yeah. Go past the spikes. The point was to show you, but I'm not actually going up there because it hasn't. I mean, heels, which is a bit silly of me. Um, but you can see to the back wall there. Yeah. This is one relatively flat terrace. Yeah. And then the next one up and the next one up. And if you just got an excavator in, and we happen to know a very good excavator guy, um, you could just completely change it. Get a name, get a name. Arsenio Grasa. 
you have an excavator in central Portugal. Arsenio Grasa is your man. Yeah. And that's not a mini digger then. Jamie Robshaw will do just as well. <laughs> right. So we've got one orange tree and we've got what could be a nice big flat terrace. And it goes really quite far up there, doesn't it? It does. So you've got plenty of space for your vegetable patch, for your garden. You've got, you've got loads of space, lots of land. You've got to keep it up. So you can fence it off, it can go, go straight up. I'm not yeah. going up there, I'm just going to fall over. You're not going to do it? No. Oh, no. I thought it was a good idea, but it's a silly one. Oh, uh, okay. So, so we're going, down. going back down again now, which also feels a bit scary. Right, do you want to go first? I'll go first. Because I'm not scared at all. I'm very brave. He says, about to fall over. Right, okay. we better show the downstairs. We had better show the downstairs. I just want to say one final look, just to show just how wonderful this valley is, because it just is <laughs> spectacular. All suddenly turning to Mr. Tree. I'm turning into Mr. Tree. Um, Mr. I love this valley, and I do love this valley. I know you do. Almost as much as I love Sarah. So what you've got to consider is, from up here, would you put stairs in to incorporate the downstairs? Yeah. Or do you keep this as what potentially is a two-bedroom, big lounge area, large kitchen space, and a bathroom? Yeah, I mean, the options are bound, really, don't they? So you've got two options here. This is as it is now. If yeah. the stairs were to go in, you'd probably either do it down there or down there. Yeah, and there's a little room here which you wouldn't let me go yeah, in yeah, before. Didn't look. So I'm going to go in yep. now. They kept one wall with the exposed stone, which is nice. Yeah. The thing is lovely. Yeah. Yep. And they've all got double glazed windows in and new electrics, as we said. Yeah, it's all been uh, it's all been done to latest spec. So. Right. Lead the way, sir. There we go. Right, make sure I shut the windows afterwards. Yeah, I will do, darling. Hello, Cricket. Yeah. Never get bored of looking at that. Hmm? Side of this house, I think it's lovely. It is. Come on, then. In we go. Well, I actually hit my head last time. Yeah, it is a bit late. Uh, that's one of the reasons I would advocate actually putting in stairs from downstairs and maybe just have that as a, like an emergency exit window. Thanks for that, everybody. You know what that was? Probably someone we know. So here, we it's been tanked behind the wall here, so the, this just needs rendering. And the air vents, all the important stuff has been done. Yeah. So that you don't feel dampness, you don't smell dampness when you come well, in here. Rendering, plastering or plasterboarding, it depends on how okay, you yeah. want to finish it. Yeah. Uh, what kind of, and how you want to spread it up. I mean, there's ample room for a, like a couple of bedrooms in this area here, isn't there? Yeah, if you wanted to put two bedrooms in here, and then you leave that as your kitchen lounge diner, and you've got your bathroom at your end. It's do all, or you do it the other way around and you make it a one bedroom, it's, or you incorporate it and then you'd have a three bedroom house down here. It's yeah. entirely up to you. Either way, it depends whether you're looking for a permanent home or whether you're just looking well, for- Well, not really, because even if, it, if you wanted a holiday home- Both. There's, yeah, there's plenty of people want three, four, five bedroom holiday homes, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Well, you come through here, you don't have to compromise on anything, really. Um, yeah, really nice size bathroom. Yeah. I mean, no problem at all with that. I think oh, lots, of, lots of big storage in here for yeah. the towels and bathroom stuff. Yeah, there's tons of tons of space and tons sliding of door. Yeah. Seems to either not be in or it's been painted in. <laughs> 
Is it? Is it? Pick it up out. Oh, it's not a cassette door. That's just uh, yeah, the door. Right. Okay, so again, we've got a beautiful stonework and with some clever lighting here. Yeah. You could make really nice features. Um, obviously, it's not as tall as upstairs, but it's still perfectly usable and it's lovely and cool. Yeah. Which, when it is hot here in the summer, you will appreciate the coolness for bedrooms. Yeah, and it is lovely. That is the reality. Um, Okie dokie. So, what do you think we should do now? Well, I think we've done the house, really, haven't we? We've summarised. Yeah. And a random bit of tile just popped in there. It is a bit of a random bit of tile. Should we? Well, should we go outside and do a summary? Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm just playing with switches. So lead, lead, lead the way. Okay. Let me get the sun to my back. Which is this? So if I come and... So should I guess a bit against a bit of stone? Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't see. So here we have. Right, okay. River. Closest bit that I think you could... Always the same. Go back. Or just get run over. Well, just summarise really quickly. Summarise really quickly. River that way. Restaurant 10 minutes. Uh, there's a car waiting. It's usually very, very peaceful. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do like and subscribe. Bye!